Ah, hot, hot. All right, I'm back. You drink lots of tea when I have dust cup. I just generally don't buy a lot of things. <laughs> it's been a minute since I've gone shopping uh, for things for new cups or new plates. I kind of should get some more cups, something a little bit better. I have my coffee cups, which probably are at least some kind of better because they have an actual handle, but um, I feel like I should maybe get something like specific for my uh, just for whenever I brew tea instead might be nice, but let's see last time uh, we finally broke our streak of one chapter per stream, unfortunately um, we got our asses served in the Tower of Lazard um, thankfully we have plenty of periods to uh Plenty of periods to spare. We have two, there were two more dungeons that showed up. So we have the Cave of Thacus. We have the Tower uh, Zerva, I believe it's called. Dark Tower Zerva, yep, yep. Uh, we've already sent our characters up, um, but I think next I was doing, I was double checking, triple checking my math uh, because, you know, the added difficulty by sending up two characters um, instead of the minimum one character uh, is making it difficult for us to ensure we still are getting the true ending. We are actually going to need to send up two characters at the very beginning of next cycle anyway. So there was kind of no point in forcing the early um, use of Cashel which is unfortunate because uh, I feel like it would have been more poetic to use Lorenta to kill or to beat um, Lazard. I don't know why I was blanking on his name. But he used Lorenta to beat Lazard and then sent her up because she wanted to go be with her husband. But we will definitely send up Lorenta next chapter. Um, we need to send someone up, so whatever it is, we'll, we'll send her up. Um, let's... Well, I feel like we need a break from towers. Uh, let's go to the Cave of Thacus, which is uh, suffering under magic capitalism. Uh, the waters have been polluted. Yeah, the, uh, the continent does not have an EPA. Um, what is our party looking like? Um, who do we... We have Arngrim is in the back. Arngrim is also kind of... Low... It's not low, low level, but he's starting to fall behind our characters. So let's see where Lorenta is sitting at. Alright, she has 400 extra to just get whatever. Let's swap out... Um, all right, we'll give her a ruby mace, normal tiara, normal cloak, leather boots. Uh, we're going to remove those. We're going to put her there. Good shit. Good shit. Uh, what weapon does Arngrim have? He has no weapon, so let's fix that. Blue flames flicker as if breathing. Uh, that is only one attack, though. Let's give him the elemental edge. Raise a special... I think special attack is their, uh, limit break, their purify weird soul. Ooh, he can get the breastplate? Hell yeah. Give him the good shit. Um, you... Hit that. We're going to set up auto item for Union Plume. 
Gonna make sure we have Splash. And he has attack power. So next is Fight. All right. Uh, oh, I forgot. We need to remove the dimension slip so that Valkyrie will not slide past our enemies. All right, buddy. Let's see what this cave has to deal with us. We got some little goopy guys. To my side, my noble Ein Herriard. All right. Mother, mother, watch over me. Yeah! <laughs> oh, I think I think we might be over leveled for this area. Oh, come on! One of our characters missed. All right, so let's really fuck this guy up. I think it's dead. Kind of sucks that we ultimately kind of wasted me well, my uh, that event XP leveling up Cashel and um, to send him up. Lorento, we kind of needed to use it. I think any of our characters we get now, we're going to want to get them up to like level five, maybe side, just to start out. Um, I think we'll be fine. Yeah, that was a lot of damage, but my characters do have first aid, so we are healing up just fine. Arngrim, what are you doing way there in the back, dude? Ouch. All right, that was some party damage. Uh, you may, I need you to be able to heal, my friend. I might have just party wiped. Or at least Arngrim died. That's annoying. The downside of having one caster. I think any other dragons, we're just gonna break out the Dragon Slayer. But I kinda wanted to see if we can get a fuck ton of XP and get Arngrim a couple levels. Confound it! Oh, come on! <laughs> All right, a chunk of damage. That kind of sucks, but we'll be fine. You may just needs to attack once again. Hmm. Oh, she's still alive! What I need is everyone alive so I can really unleash a combo. I feel like the dragon really ain't taking much damage. I think it's all the ones that are giving me that idea. But I'm afraid to do anything but heal. In theory, I could probably farm a huge chunk for him, but I think in practice... Ooh. Mmm. We can go for a huge wombo combo and see if that chunks them. Ah, fuck it. Yeah. 
My soul burns. My power has awakened. We don't really have good Finishing purified strength. weird souls to build up a huge combo, though, is the one thing. Like, that meter is not going to go up very much. He's the hit. Powerful. Oh, it's frozen. Hold on. All right. All right. We can get a we can get a couple we can get a little bit a little bit of time to heal. And by heal, I mean equip a dragon slayer so we don't spend forever here. Ah, I was hoping one more turn, but And they're dead. Get thee hence. Oblivion awaits thee. Get thee hence. Ooh, we got some mithril ore. Interesting. And the annoying thing is that every time we do that, we have to go and swap our dragon slayer back to our radiant sword. So exhausting. All right, we got some more goopy guys. To my side, my noble Ein I love a good battle. I feel like we might be able to kill them with just a spell. Yep. Nice. Yeah, all that time in Lazard's tower did kind of power level our characters. <laughs> All right, all right, I'm gonna wait for him to get to the other side, and then we give him an old stabaroo, and then to we see, side, then Lord we Lord. see. I love a good battle. Oh, oh, you love a good battle? Well, is this, do you think this is a good battle? That's what I thought. How unskilled these beasts are. They are pretty unskilled, Valkyrie. I concur. But what can you expect? Ah, it's just a whole bunch of pollution. No, 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 no. Can I go up? Up. Quab! We found a quab! Crab battle! Crab battle! Crab battle! Crab battle! Look at those pinchers. Look at them pinchers! Yeah. Our pinchers didn't save them. And we'll kill that crab with a dragon blast! Dreaded dragon! It's kind of interesting. Uh, so I made that little quick Ayla thing throwing uh, the Drekki on a string. Now you have felt my strength. But the actual sprite sheets, or at least the ones that I found, the enemy are very vanquished. static. So that sort of, that little after image thing, or that little shwoom below her feet, yeah. those have to be added like elsewhere in the code somehow because they're not part of like her character's um sprite sheet i am certainly no game developer so i can't speak to things uh, did we get the quab or did the quab get us we got the quab all right, what happens if we drop a, an icicle edge on these crabs? Will they be dead? They are. Fuck yes. All right. Our work is done. Oh, they have, they give less experience than the, the goopy guys. Oh. What do you got here? Strike edge. What is that?
Strike Edge. Reflect Sorcery, very important. Um, hold on. Well, I can't transform Splash into anything, so whatever. Um, Strike Edge. 50% chance of causing faint. Press button repeatedly. Oh, the charge attack. I never remember how to use the charge attacks. So honestly, I never even bother uh, getting them. 2BH. Funny how formation raises intelligence. Uh, let me get you up. Want to get your intelligence up. So, trick it is. Uh, how are her traits maxed out? I'm gonna leave probably a couple hundred for you, May, depending on what we might want her to learn whenever we send her up. If we send her up. No, we'll definitely send her up, because I'm pretty sure there is a one... I believe there's one that will ask for characters you can swim. And she's a mermaid, duh. Easy peasy, so I'll send her up during that one. Hopefully we will get my other... Uh, one of my other favorite casters before then. I don't really like a lot of the more end-game casters. Alright, we're introduced to our little puzzle. Ooh. I already have a save point. Go ahead and take advantage of that. Bada bing, bada boom. Now, let's talk to Obi-Wan over here. Quickly! Reseal the sluice gate! Quickly! It threatens to break its seal! There's not a moment to lose! Nothing is done, the whole shoreline will be polluted! Ah, so he's an EPA wizard. Good to know! Hey, it's an Appy! She's flapping over here! Whatcha, whatcha want from me, Oppie? To my side, my noble Einherjar. Ooh. Alright, no alright. Okay, never mind. I thought she had a different sprite. Something tells me this harpy is, uh... A little underleveled compared to us. And see, this is the other side of the equation once you start... Really out-leveling enemies. Our work is done. Um, I don't remember the exact level of... Oh, an Invoke Feather! Holy shit. That is a very good drop, actually. Um, if we run into any other Harpies, we're going to want to actually fight them rather than just use a spell and go, because Invoke Feather is very good. I could have... Yeah, I could have. I could have jumped on it and then gone up the first one. Drecky, what do you think better, buddy? No mercy. Monstrous Glowfly. That don't, that don't look like no Glowfly I'm aware of. Let's put him on ice! Oh, shit. Well, we might have made a mistake. Hey, Ain't no problem! Alright, we would have died if both of them had attacked. Thankfully, they didn't. We made one of them faint. Man, Arnburn does not have synergy with our current team. That is frustrating. Get thee hence! Oblivion awaits thee! 
I'm trying to think of what we can do. Do we maybe need Arngrim to be our first melee attacker? I feel like maybe we go Arngrim, Ayla, and then bring the Valkyrie in. Because, like, I th all of Arngrim's attacks are, like, right in the face. And I think Valkyrie's attack kind of, uh, is knocking enemies out of Arngrim's range somehow. Hey, buddy. See, we could freeze enemies and just run by them, but where's the fun in that? All right, all right. I think that was a much better combo. Hell yeah, buddy. All right, Ayla, you can't laugh at the enemy when you miss your counterattack. All right, I don't know what I was doing there. That was kind of silly. I kind of uh, forgot what I literally just did. I'll show you an explosion, Glowfly. No problem. Nothing personnel, kid. Our work is done. All right, getting us them levels. Normalize, not bad. I think if we get the, uh, so we have, we got an advanced crafting from the Tower of Lazard, but there's actually one more tier of crafting. And I think if we get that, we can, um, you know what, we'll check down first. We get, I think that one will let us swap our spells so like normal crafting spells swap between their own element because there's uh two spells in every element usually one is single target one is aoe with the level two crafting it will transmute it into its opposite so um Ice will transmute into fire. But I think at tier 3 crafting, it will transform it into, like, its, uh, uh, I don't know what to call it. It's diagonal you element. Well, I think that will let us get, make sure whoever our in-game casters are going to be, no matter what spellbooks we have, we'll be able to give them the good good. Although, granted, I think my endgame casters are probably just going to be rocking Mystic Cross, because that no spell mercy. is very good. Um, I think the next battle where I have one or two enemies, I'm going to want to use Heal with Yumei before I forget, because she is a little bit wounded. From that glowfly besploding right in our party's face. Very rude of that glowfly. Uh, really should have taken some notes from its you firefly side, brethren, perhaps. No mercy. Yeah, well, uh, they're just crabs. Uh, what's a crab gonna do? It's just gonna pinch us? <laughs> that doesn't hurt. See? Give me some butter, because we're ready to serve that crab up. Ah, he did pinch us! Rude. Alright. Now he's dead. Think you could defeat me? Jeez, chill out a bit, Arngrim. Uh, you're kind of the lowest level person on this party, buddy. Thing is, though, I'm honestly not really, I don't really eat crustaceans. So I don't really eat crab. 
flare base slar. All right, free items or free items? That looked like an upward path. Hold on. Making sure I didn't miss anything secret. Ah! All right, Drecky. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. I think the only crab I've had that was real nice, technically, um, was... Shit. You know what? Fuck it. Um, there was this place that made chicken wings fried in, like, crab fat and caramel, and they just smelled like death. Uh, is, like, probably the worst reheat food I can imagine. But, eating them fresh was so good. Oh, I loved it. And that's that's about as close as I'll get to eating uh, crustaceans or any kind of filter feeder. I prefer our filter feeders to stay in the water where they can filter and feed. Because, I don't know about you, if you've ever seen like the little aquarium tank where it's like this is the tank with muscles and this is the tank without any muscles or oysters or whatever the fuck they were um it is a very big difference in water quality and i prefer to drink the good water and not have to drink the poopy water all right i don't know how it survived probably because arngrim missed Finishing strike. That stupid beat that shit. Blast. Also, after like cleaning hundreds of pounds of shrimp, <laughs> no uh, I just don't want to deal with it. Don't want to deal with it. I don't like that they have dirt. I don't, don't want to have to worry about the dirt. Not my thing. All right, Harpy, I'm going to need you to drop me another invoke feather. <laughs> I said, give me an Invoke Feather! But she didn't give me an Invoke Feather, everyone. The enemy is vanquished! I think it's a whole bunch of bullshit. She has all those feathers, and all she has to do is give me one of them. What about you, Quab? What, do you, what item do you have? I bet they have, like, Lapis Lazuli. To my side, my noble Ein Herriar. I don't know what that would do, but... Mother, watch over me. Not what I meant to press. Alright, that thing, I think... I think their trigger is going below 50 health will cause them to do their explode ability. Alright, we killed that crab, but... At what cost? Weak. <laughs> it just fucking backhands it. Yep. Uh, uh. Oh, let's do another round of healing next battle. Uh, yeah, yeah. How yeah. Oh, I guess we're gonna find out what item crabs give us. Survey says. I said, survey How says. These beasts are. Fresh meat. Yes. I'm gonna be fucking. Some type of raw fish. Can't use it. We could turn it into a prime elixir, though. That's... I think a prime elixir is a full party heal, actually. All right, that's, uh, that's some good sushi, I think. I think we've jumped right into the harpy. To my side, my noble Ein Ooh, we got two harpies. Yep. Reflect sorcery. 
They both cast. All right, so our magic user is going to be a little silly goose. Let's not bother with it first. Hopefully we can knock loose some more Invoke Feathers. Alright, that was pretty embarrassing, not gonna lie. You missed me! Oh! Kicked her right out of the air! No items. Unfortunate. No! Iron you fool! Hey! We got ourselves another fucking invoke feather, baby! And a good bit of experience. Iron Grim over here like, what happened? Star. Well, there's a bird woman, and now there's not a bird. Wait, reflect bow. Ah! Oh! Oh, what's the trick? Um. I swear, there's a way we can we can um. Hold on, are we taking damage? Are we actually taking damage? 14, 7, 1, 8. We actually are taking damage. Damn it. I feel like there's a way... Is it through menu? I do I do this. You should still carry momentum. No. I don't think that worked. Okay. Damn. I can't remember. I swear there's a way to, like, buffer and get on the other side. I might be misremembering things, though. It has been a long minute since I last, uh, was doing speedrun strats. Uh, let's make sure everyone's at full HP. No reason not to. We did get beat the heck up by that water. And by beat up, I mean it, like, took... Like, a pittance of our health. Take that. Ha! 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 What do you think of that, crab? Not even close. You're too slow! Ha! Killed it with a familiar. Nice. Um, Dragon Blast. My soul burns. No My reason to give it an opportunity to attack back. Finishing strike. Dreaded Dragon. You have reaped what you have sowed. Yeah, you tell him, Valkyrie. This is kind of the point where I'm saying, like, uh, even though this is in hard mode, even though your characters start at level one, like, if you have a set group of characters, usually your favorites, the level issue is kind of not of a big deal, to be honest. Ooh. Look at them graphics, baby! Hell yeah. 
That's the good shit. You can fall into the whole ussy. Alright, Harpy, I need some more invoke feathers from you. Don't give me no to reflex bow, alright? I won't that feather. No I don't want to be spending no more my hard-earned dematerialization points on no dang ol' Phoenix Downs, alright? I'm gonna need you to give me that feather so I can invoke it and revive my party members whenever I feel like it. I see you have declined to do that. I think this is a poor decision on your part, Harpy. Uh, I'm gonna go down. Oh, this is the seal. Did we skip? Wait, I think we got here too fast. This isn't right. We're missing something. Why is the seal not open? Hold on. I think I went the wrong way. Pretty sure I need to do something first. Oh, did I need to... S oh, I'm so stupid. I think I know what I forgot to do. Come on. We gotta backtrack. Do-do-do. Do-do-do. Technically, sliding is Valkyrie's fastest movement, but only for the first few frames. The trick is you want to slide stand. Yep. Looks like you're the Flensburg Sorcerer. Time to reseal the sluice gate? What? This is the tool to reseal it. Leave the rest to me. Yep. We didn't have the uh, three-eighths wrench to... Or the, the 3 8 uh, uh, calligraphy brush to reseal with. I'm dumb. Oh, the Drake, 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 my comrade, friend, buddy, pal. Oh, I can just make that jump straight up. Noted. No, wait, yeah. Let me just go down. Going down, down, down. Burning spheres of anger. There we go. I was waiting for this cutscene. So, this is the sluice gate, which has sealed off the unpure water. It appears as if the effect of the seal is about to wear off. Cannot be sealed anew until the first seal has been completely worn off. What? Oh shit! Everything's broken! I feared something might come out, but this, well, from foul water, foul beasts must arise. Yeah, 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 yeah. Attack number and attack power. Yep, yeah, special attacks based on what is it. Um, um, butts, um, butts, butts, ah, I think, ah, shice, I think y'all raided in the middle of, um, butts, um, 
I think there's a round of ad ads that need to be subtracted. Ah, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Um, uh, hey, if y'all don't know Lupus, if, uh, if y'all somehow raided in here and we're not already following Lupus, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make that easy for you. Just hit the button. You hit the button right there and you follow Lupus. And uh, you get all, you'll be an alerted whenever Lupus goes online again. Uh, whenever they're doing art. Or uh, I believe y'all were doing like a little, a little bit of, a little bit of shenaniganery today. Because I saw, I think y'all had like three prompts and we're rolling uh, dice to pick one. And then everyone had to guess which prompt you had or something like that. Um, that seemed like, that seemed like a little, good little bit of fun. So many shenanigans were happening. <laughs> Game called How Do You Doodle? Interesting. You were bullied? Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, Chichu. I think, uh, I, I imagine you'll get your revenge eventually. That's how it always is in, uh, the art games. You know, whether, whether it'll be Garnet Phone or another round of TKO, uh, eventually revenge will be served piping hot. Also, I know you're going to bed. You want to pop in at least plus? No problem. I appreciate you stopping on by. I don't know, all y'all were probably uh, busting your sides with laughter and joy and amazement, so I am still going to be playing this glorious game that is Valkyrie Profile for a while. Um, y'all, however, should at minimum take a break. Uh, if you got to rate and run, that's perfectly fine. But stand up and stretch, you know, wiggle that booty, you know, shake it out. Uh, you know, leave a piss, take a water. Um, we actually just... Uh, we're, we're right now being the magical EPA, and, like, we just let loose a bunch of polluted water, so, like, maybe don't get your water from the sewer? Maybe get your water from a more filtered place. <laughs> it was torture, Drecky. It was my turn with the brain cell. It felt like the principal with the detention. <laughs> it's so mean. Don't, don't the streamers know? Uh, chat has to have the brain cell every once in a while. <laughs> but, um... What was I thinking? What was I thinking? Right! Valkyrie Profile. If you've never heard of this game, I'm not surprised. Uh, it is an old PlayStation 1 JRPG. Um, I love it to death, to bits, to pieces even. Um, and we are working on a full playthrough um so we're gonna be getting all characters visiting all dungeons and getting the true ending which in usual jrp fashion is basically impossible to get unless you're like aware of what exactly you need to do uh especially because in valkyrie profiles sense you have to do things against what everything in the game tells you to do so kind of a dick move but it is what it is. Um, we are the Valkyrie, Lenith. Uh, let me get out of this little... I... All right. So we just got into a boss battle of this dungeon. Um, so Valkyrie profile, um, the titular Valkyrie is our character in the very bottom of the screen. Um, the enemy gets first turn to act because it's a boss battle. We get fucked up. Uh, guy in the top, that is Arngrim. Uh, if he looks like Gots from Berserk, um, you're not wrong. His weapon is called the Dragon Slayer. He's literally, uh, he's basically a one-to-one, -one, uh, inspiration by, um, Berserk. Ayla, in our front of the formation on the left, is a, um, woman, I, I don't know if she's, like, carries the blood of dragons, or if she is literally born of a dragon and human um but either way she's dragon influence and then our character in the back on the right is our mage yume and she is actually a mermaid so that's cool or a merfolk first time you read the name on twitch i thought twitch just made an entire category for people wanting to watch valkyrie what's Val Valkare? What is that? 
Because I know, I know there's Valkyrie or Valkyra Chronicles, which is like the like women driving tanks war game kind of thing. I know Valkyrie Profile sometimes gets mixed up with that, but I can't. I don't remember any kind of anime or something Valkyrie related, but. One of the reasons I really love this game, and if you've ever played, like, Legend of Dragoon, um, you may be familiar a little bit with its combat style, is each of our characters is actually mapped to one of our buttons. And different weapons will give you between one to three attacks. And each attack has different attributes that are different per character. Uh, so every character has different timings, different attributes to the attacks, the way they flow. It provides a really interesting and deep uh, combat system um, that's really fun and really rewarding when you pull it off. Um, so I'm gonna fuck up this crab and show you exactly uh, what my entire party can do right now. Also, you might see the little bird by our sorcerer. Um, all mage characters can get a familiar to attack whenever they can't cast spells, and our our merfolk gets a little parakeet or a cockatiel. Yeah, every every mage has a different familiar, and it's adorable. So we're gonna fuck this guy up. All right, and then in true JRPG fashion, we have limit breaks. So, Ayla just turns on into a fuck-off dragon. <laughs> I just fucking... Psychic Blast! <laughs> Goals, let's be real. Yeah. And what's even great is that combo meter in the bottom will recharge based off of limit breaks. So depending on your characters, you can actually chain them together. And another attribute for the sequence of ultimates you may ponder is the more hits you have, the more damage attacks will do. So usually you want to put, like, a lot of characters, if they do a lot of hits, they don't have a lot of damage, but they'll charge the combo meter. So you want to put, like, your high number of hits attacks earlier and then have your single target big damage attacks later. Um, unfortunately, I messed up in my order, and I probably should have done our mage before Valkyrie. Or it could just be I didn't press it fast enough. It can be a little bit of annoying on the timing, because the charge meter will start going down, like, in a split frame. And every sequential limit break, the charge meter starts lower and lower. I feel like Valkyrie's level 2 limit break should have been able to charge it up from the third position. Uh, Valkyrie is the only character because she is our... She's the main character. Uh, she's on the title. Uh, you know, she can use swords and bows. Uh, but she can also get uh, three stages of her limit break. Uh, we won't be able to get her stage 3 for a long while. But it is hella sick nasty. And I cannot wait. Gonna go eat Dins, be back. No problem, Lupus. Thanks for stopping on by and bring in your people. Uh, thankfully, after suffering last stream in the Tower of Lazard, our party is a little bit over leveled, at least for this area. Um, we have one more dungeon this chapter to take out, and I don't recall how difficult that's going to be. Um, the damage formula in this game is a bit wonky. Um, the difference in your levels can make a huge difference in how much damage you do. You're too slow! Now, technically, there's items that will basically cast spells. And if you were doing a speedrun... Uh, you would be making uh, heavy use of those things and not really doing a lot of interaction with the combat system itself. 
I think that's silly. So we are mostly doing just pure combat. There's a couple instances I do want to use items, either because it's kind of funny, or uh, the enemy is pretty much, you must use its weakness or you are going to suffer situation. You might also be seeing um, a bunch of stuff being knocked out of our enemy. So that's one of the things where synchronizing and figuring out combos with the party you've assembled is very rewarding. The purple orbs are charge orbs, and whenever a caster uses their ability, um, they basically go on cooldown. Um, depending on the spell, it's the number of turns is different. However, those charge orbs will reduce that time that they are uh, 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 waiting. And if you get enough, they can immediately attack again. So right now, Yume has no charge. Um, so that little meter below their health is what it would hold their charge. Um, our non-casters have charge bars as well, because uh, by using their limit break, they have, um, they'll get charge. So that also speeds up your ability to do your big attacks. All right, you may, I should heal, but this boss is basically dead, so we're just gonna go all out. And the other thing that the enemy is dropping are XP crystals, and each one of those gives us like another stacking 5% XP, um, which can be really great on these bosses and other big enemies so it would have given us 18,000 experience but because of the magic gems we're actually getting closer to 23,000 um, there are some enemies which basically take no damage except for magic attacks and I think one time as a as a joke for a meme I farmed one like I think I just brought like a fuck ton of potions, or I had a caster whose only job was to heal my party. And I farmed it for just ridiculous amounts of magic crystals just to get everyone uh, huge amounts of XP. All right, we reseal this sewer. Keep the magical pollution at bay. All right. Um, and the fun thing about the charge crystals and the XP gems is you can actually be pretty predictable and repeatable in how you knock them out because charge crystals will drop from enemies that are hit by um, a lot of attacks in close succession while on the ground, whereas magic gems will drop more when they're basically comboed in the air. Um, so the trick is, is you can have one of your characters knock them up, and then you have all your other characters, you know, juggle them. Another fun attribute about the fact that our characters have uh, three possible attacks is if you have, like, a weapon that gives you all three attacks, um, you can actually reorder your attacks. And so that, that's what I'm saying, like, this game has so much depth to its combo system. Um, it is really fantastic. You can even set which counterattack you're using. I don't really see any reason to mess with that though, because it's it's so inconsequential. Now, as a Valkyrie, you know, we're really training all these people, because uh, they're they're just souls. They've already perished um, and moved on. Uh, but we've got a war in Asgard going on. Um, so we're training the Iron Harry Art. We're also at the end of the dungeon, there's always these treasures. And you know, Odin, you know, he likes them artifacts. They're pretty dang sweet. But I think I deserve a reward as well as a treat. So uh, we're just gonna, we're just gonna keep all the artifacts. Ooh, a coin of fortune. This item is an artifact. All artifacts are rightful property of Lord Odin. Return it when your evaluation level will drop. Eh, fuck you. Now one downside 
as we don't really have an escape route. Other than, like, we can go die. Because if we lose in battle, you don't game over. Uh, you just, like, go outside, basically. There are very few situations where losing is a game over. But the cave ain't that big. So we're going to go ahead and skip it at all. Why am I trying to save? I already saved, Drecky. All right. All we have left is the Dark Tower. Zerva. Surely that one is going to be a very normal dungeon with nothing weird going on at all. Just a nice, fun time, you know, climbing some stairs, you know, fighting a few enemies, and then a boss, perhaps. No big deal. Be fine. All right, let's not pull an oopsie. We'll go ahead and save before we jump in. Um, we also got a bracelet of Zoe, and I actually want to equip that. It gives a character 300 more health whenever they level up. Ooh, what does Corn of Fortune do? Grants good luck. Sure. What happens if I try and transmute it? I can't. Hmm. Um. Could give it to Ayla or Arngrim. Arngrim has a good chunk of levels he's going to be getting, and Arngrim is impossible to set up. Um, he is a character we get at the very beginning of the game, and just like I mentioned, he's very gots coded, like the character from Berserk. He has a lot of bass, like asshole with the heart of gold kind of thing. Like he kind of he acts a bit brusque, but he's actually very kind um he can't go to valhalla however because his hero value is in the negatives quite a bit because uh, he is pretty selfish and he's so cool-headed that it's actually a negative <laughs> if you'd believe it Or he's not cool-headed. Right, right, right. Eight means... whatever. Um... I think our party is going good. I can't remember what that coin does. Okay, I want to equip that bracelet of Zoe. Yeah, we... actually give her the Mirror of Polites because it can reflect magic and since she's in the back line only magic or ranged attacks can get to her um, we'll give Arngrim other bracelet of Zoe the leveling slows down a good bit fine. 
oh, it's cool. You know, you just got some eyes on the walls. You know, it's an interesting taste and decor. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, we got some ladders in the shape of a spine. This is, this is normal, right? That's how everyone has their ladders. It's just spines. You know, we got this, uh, kind of a weird thing on the wall. I'm sure it's nothing, nothing to worry about. I don't think we need to think about that. Uh, oh, we got some spoopy ghosts. Um, we have a giant flesh wall. Love, love a good flesh wall, I to guess. Side, my noble Crying soul. All right, that's kind of scary. All right, that was kind of an embarrassing showing. I thought I was like gonna kill it real quick, and then uh, we try and one round the second one. All right, I don't know what it just did, but it just kind of kind of woo around me for a bit. I don't like that, so I'm gonna beat him up with a whole bunch of swords. I think that ghost has been exercised. Is everybody okay? You know her? Yeah! Hmm. All right, we can't seem to get past these flesh walls. Noted. Let's go up to the second story. Ah. Ironically, the faster way to go up ladders is to grab, jump, grab, jump. Ooh, a doggy! A doggy! Look at this pupper! We're gonna kill this pupper! Alright, what is this enemy? Oh, that's a undead carcass. I think it's Angie. Also, I think it's more of a cat than a dog. Um, let's use fire. Alright, they have a good chunk of HP. Might as well. Can't really finish off the third one. You missed me. You're too slow. Oh, I hate that his defense posture is its ribcage spines or its ribcage bones like extend and cover the top of its body. Like, cool enemy design, but oh, that makes me, oh, that makes me flinch. The enemy is vanquished. What'd they drop? Raw meat and a mandrake. I don't think I want some raw meat from an undead carcass. You know, something tells me that's not actually good to eat. I don't care if to we my cook side, it. My noble I love right. a good battle. Fire only brought them to like half health. Let's see what ice does. I feel like we did more damage. That did more damage. That's what you get for dodging me. Alright. So if we hit him with an icicle, you may can almost kill them. I think if she gets one more level, that'll push her over the damage to one-shot them. Really, this chapter's uh, uh, dungeon order should have been... Dacus, Zerva, and then Lazard. No mercy. But too bad. Nice. Freezing a couple souls. You love to see it. Alright, that one's dead. And then this one. Alright. Next one. Take that. Yeah. 
All right. Can we one turn it? Yeah. Hell yeah. Saving up some time, baby. I'm proud to fight by your side. Arngrim getting all them levels, buddy. Good shit. That shit's good. Most of the damn treasure traps. Treasure. Treasure. Treasure trap. Treasure chest. Treasure chests are. Ooh. It's like a heart. Perhaps if I attack it, something might happen. Yeah! Cool. The, um. The tower is alive. And I just gave it, uh. CPR, I guess. Chest compressions, but, you know, with a sword. Ha! Oh, yeah, now the flesh wall is not in our way. But hold on. There is the other door we haven't gone through. Let's check that out. What do we have up here? Ah, a flesh pit with teeth. Ow. Mage Slayer? Alright, that's useful. Um, and we got some pipes, I think. There's, uh, there's a whole lot of fleshy bits going on here. Uh, there we go. Oh, cool, and then it spits us out here. All right, cool. Yep, just a very normal, average tower, you know, with hearts and veins and aortas and pulsating flesh masses. It's very fine. It's fine. Ah, that ghost ran into me, didn't it? To my side, my noble Einherjar. Yep. Ah. Well, she. On the plus side, all healing in this game is percentage based, and your heal spell heals eighty percent of your life. So, I can just top our characters off pretty quickly. <laughs> Take that, ghost. You don't stand a ghost of a chance. how you do some juggling, baby. That ghost didn't know what hit him. We hit him with the ice, we got him with a spear, got him with a whole hunk of metal, we stabbed him, like, I don't know. Sap guard? That's fine. Um, alright, we got another fleshy mass in our way. I hate it when there's fleshy masses in my way, you know? It's just... It's just rude. It's just rude. Ah! No, 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 no! There we go, buddy. There we go, buddy. No! I did it again. I did it again. I fell down. Mandrake, all right. All right, where does this take me? Same place I've already been. It's probably gonna deposit me in that upper right. Yup. 
All right, that is not the way. Uh, where else can we go? Can we go up this? We cannot climb up this. Am I not seeing things? Oh, I can just walk right past that. I'm a potato. Ooh. All right, that's weird. Not sure what's going on with that. Uh, I feel like it has a bit of an arrhythmia. The uh, the heart's not pumping uh, very consistently. To my side, my noble Einherjar. No mercy. Bridget Damsel. Ha! 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 Take that! I think that fire elemental got the message. You know, just maybe perhaps. Bridget Damsel. Ha! Ha! Ya! Ha! Ha! Take that! Ha! Ha! <laughs> Literally going all the way off screen. Damn it, Valkyrie! There's an there's an extent to how far the screen can draw, buddy. Ran, pal. One last spear drill. Make sure it's nice and uh, stabbed. They were no match for us. They're no match for us. You tell them, Arngrim. You tell them. Ha! Yeah! I right, got another spoopy, spoopy ghost. To my side, my noble Einherjar. Ah. Uh. No Ain't no mercy for the ghosts. Money don't grow on trees. Ooh, ooh, we knocked some items loose. Potentially nice. Oh, I hate that bug. Sometimes a charred crystal will not actually go to a character. This is very annoying when that happens. Won't matter much though, because it looks like we are one turning this guy. Or this uh this enemy. We do have some very powerful characters. Uh, if I were playing like solo, um Ayla and Yume would probably just be in my party the rest of the game. I love polearm users, I like Ayla. Uh, she is really fun, and all the casters are pretty much interchangeable. Just pick whoever you like best. Um, if you were, like, really, really, really min-maxing, there technically is a correct answer for the highest stats, simply because there's a couple sorcerers that are considered great sorcerers. Uh, you can't see it, but I'm doing some big air quotes. And they have higher base, like, starting intelligence, which is what's used to calculate magic damage. But this isn't a game. Like, I'm playing on hard mode. All right. And we're only at the mid game. So, like, it's, it's not a game where you need to hyper min-max every single aspect. Um... It does kind of mean that there's, like, once you're really good at the game, there's... You kind of have to impose challenges on yourself to make it more difficult. Um, that's one of the reasons why I'm doing... Uh, sending two characters every chapter. Um, that actually makes it very difficult to... Um, get the true ending. And we actually have to do some... We have to do some juggling of stuff, because uh, there's definitely a much more optimal and more efficient way we could be using our cycles, but... Uh, 
needing to send two characters means sometimes you just don't have the ability to. Although, once we finally get the... Um, there's a specific cutscene we need to see. And once we see that cutscene, we are guaranteed to be on the true ending path. And then I can stop worrying about um, the thing, the stat I'm juggling. So I need it to be low, okay? lower than a value at a certain point in the game. Ah, we got some Savoy. Ah. You son of a bitch! You just fucking dropped us in. How weird. Let me in! I. I fuck. New from Apple. All right. Kind of sucks that we had to go through that again. very normal and average dungeon, am I right? Alright, what is this enemy? Someone new. Alright, it's not gonna be a ghost. It's gonna be... Ooh! It's the lesser demon. Um... Well, might as well as fuck this demon's day up. I hope they had no other plans, because now their plan is to be dead. Super normal and particularly average, especially to- yeah! Yeah, didn't everyone go into the flesh tower? You know, it's- it's just a- it's just a common vacation spot, you know? Just take the whole family there. It's a, yeah, it's a rite of passage. Right, Lupus. See, you get it. Also, I need to remember to heal. Now, the first aid is nice, but cannot beat a full. Ah, damn it, you may. You have no. You have one charge. All right. Well, remember to do it at the beginning of next battle. Hopefully, they drop some nice hours. Everyone goes to the Flesh Tower as a young team! Ooh, Sap Power. Be nice if we were going for, like, a minimum level boss run situation. Now, I think these will actually take us to a different place. No. That's what I get for thinking. I feel like there's another flesh area I need to drop into for different items. Everyone spends the first year or so of their teens subsumed by the incomprehensible organ pile. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You just org in and just org out all over the place. I almost fell in. This seems like a very poor placement of stairs. Like, every like three stairs, I want you to not put stairs. I want you to put a, te a teethy maw, like a tiny sarlacc pit there. Like, I know there's a sensation of the missing stair where you're like, you're going down the set of stairs and uh, you get to the bottom before you think you've gotten to the bottom. You know, and you kind of stumble a bit. 
But I feel like doing that with, like, a pit full of teeth, uh, is not up to code. Or if it is up to code, I have no idea what building codes they're going by. <laughs> this is a really weird hoa. <laughs> Maybe it's the uh, the uh, Tim Curry's code, you know the the you know the demon code, demon code one cannot refuse a rock off challenge, two install toothy flesh pits on every third stair, you know it's right there in the parchment. <laughs> The flesh bits don't have any food or water access. That's inhumane! <laughs> yeah, but once you think of the building's access to fresh food and water... Look, I know it's an exotic species, okay? But if you're going to raise a sapient flesh tower, uh, you have to be prepared to properly care for it, you know? And it requires the right environment and, you know... Uh, foodstuffs to grow uh, healthy, healthily. We're just gonna wait until the enemy gets back on screen real quick. There we go. Yeah. Flesh towers are a lifetime commitment. Yeah, you know they might live longer than you, especially if you know, like you fall into one of the stairs and then it eats you. <laughs> They're not a Christmas pet. Yeah. Think about the flesh tower before you try and gift your friends or family one. <laughs> they may start very tiny <laughs> as little <laughs> flesh girths, but in they grow like weeds, and before you know it, they're going to be adding their fifth story. <laughs> uh. <laughs> what is that enemy doing? <laughs> He is... he is having a time. Ooh, hey! It's some walking armor! I... fell on its head. To my side, my noble Ooh. Iron Golem. Interesting. Well, let's fuck it up. You have to be trained, licensed, and qualified wildlife power handler to own a flush tower. Yeah, in most states. In most states, yeah. Heaven forbid you try and uh, take a flush tower across country lines, because uh, let me tell you, the import and export uh, controls, like... Uh, Try and see someone who takes a their flesh tower to Australia. Uh, they do not have a good time. All right, I don't know what happened there. My combo kind of went sideways. Uh, we'll see if. Wow, that is a very long freeze. Nice. All right, let's try this again. There we go. Alright, let's see, let's see, let's see what we get. Street controls are there for a reason. You should see the conditions people put their poor flesh towers through. You try and smuggle them into other countries. It's tragic, really. Bam! That iron golem gave us a lot of XP. Much more manageable than a zombie dragon. Also a burgundy flask. Interesting. I don't know what the Too burgundy flask can do. Ah. Oh, they get first attack, don't they? Ow. Let's, um, do a heal. Because that's a bullshit. Fucking guard, fucking this. 
Motherfucker. Sap? I did not know they had spells. Oh, it's an inferior. Interesting. Well, the only thing, uh... Oh, fuck you, dude. Guard crush. Get fucked. Fuck you, dude. I love overkill. No kill like overkill, baby. Especially when they can still drop delicious goodies out of their, uh, juggled corpse. Unless I wait too long and my characters go off screen. <laughs> then they can't hit. They were no match for us. They were no match. No match. Alright, now we can finally check this chest. We get lightning bolts. Lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. Magic missile. Lightning bolt. Noise arrow. That transmute noise arrow. Do I use noise arrow? I think I have noise arrow. So the downside of crafting is if you want to do the different crafts, you have to actually remove the item that gives you the upgraded. Yeah, I think it's weight reaction. We already have weight reaction, I believe. Yeah, because that's the... I feel crazy. Uh, oh, wow, it's been a minute. Uh, let's give... Arngrim some skills. I give him survival. Why not? Uh, a couple, a couple thousand extra HP ain't nothing to shake a stick at. Um, hit increases dexterity. Uh, let's finish defend first. And then we'll go avoid. Uh, Valkyrie, likewise, we'll give her hit. And then avoid. Ayla uh, is at max capacity. Wow. All right. Um, we'll give her stats. I'm going I'll, I'll, I'll give her some stats. Um, Hear Noise will give two. It's better. So we'll do hit. Pretty set up on traits. Yes, she is. Um, might as well give her some more agility. Whenever we send Ayla up to uh, Asgard, she is going to be red. D. She is gonna fuck people up. As she should. Because pole arms are awesome weapons. And she is my favorite pole arm class character. Which isn't a very high bar, because there's not... There's not a lot of good uh, polearm characters, to be honest. Alright, you know what? Maybe I don't want to fight those ghosts. Maybe I just want to open the treasure chests. Mmm, yeah. vegetable seeds. That's right, this game has a farm! No, it doesn't, it doesn't have a farm simulator section. <laughs> to my side, my noble Ein Herriard. No mercy. The only things we're farming are souls, because everyone here is dead. Oh, 
Oh, they're still barely alive. Come on. Of course, the kitty cat dodges. The unfortunate thing is if an enemy dodges, it consumes all of your attacks. So even if like you use one, only one attack with that character, if it dodges it, your character is basically like completely exhausted. You can't do any further follow-up attacks with that character for that round of combat. Yeah, I hate to see it. All right, so we have another flesh wall. But this isn't Tarararararararararars. So we got to find the heart. All right, maybe this ghost wants to dance. All right, buddy, you want to tango? Huh? You want to fuck around? You want to fuck around? You're going to get fucked up. I love a good battle. I'll show you a good battle. Icicle Edge. Icicle Edge. Ice, ice, baby. You have served me well, my Iron Harrier. What am I missing? <laughs> it caught up to me. <laughs> I was like, panic, panic, you panic. <laughs> Ooh. That didn't hurt very much. Right, apparently an inferior is better than a lesser demon. Noted. I wonder if it's like a translation issue. So I wonder if inferior is supposed to be something else. The only thing I can think of is more like a fire gin. Like an infer in inferite or something. I need to stop waiting so long to use Valkyrie because that keeps happening. All right. Good that he got healed. I need to remember to do some uh, healing next combat. Remember, characters are getting a little long and the tooth short in the health. Is there a door I missed? I don't think so. It's gonna be down here, nothing down there. Oh, I think I came from the bottom. So I think I need to check over here. Yeah, there's the heart. I'm really glad that the uh, the walls just are veiny and they don't pulsate. You know, small mercies. Draw the line at pulsating walls. Ooh, I think we're right before the boss. Let's do a bit of a save. Let's see what the boss is in store. Hmm. A f giant floating eye with snake hair and just pulsating veins. Cool, cool, cool. These creatures, 
They are hunters of souls created by the Queen Hell of Niflheim. So the Hand of Hell reaches all the way to Midgard now. Everyone, gather here. Valkyrie has arrived. <laughs> <coughs> Maybe that's not the voice to try and do for that. Inform the queen. She will be overjoyed. Hey, Phil, what you got over here? I got the Valkyrie. Oh, dang, a Valkyrie. Look, you can get, my, get me an autograph? I was certain that this monster has the power to come... No, I am certain that this monster has the power to come back to life. Ow. Dude. Dude. <coughs> Scratchy snake. It's like they're eat. Yeah. Yeah, maybe a little. Oh, maybe a little too try hard on that. We'll uh we'll dial that back. Yeah. So this is a great enemy where we have to kill both of them at the same time. I think if one of them is in a faint situation, it will not uh, revive, and that can give you two turns. be messing up my uh, combos and I need to be getting those charge crystals I also should have given my caster <clears throat> the uh, weapon with great magic all right someone please use a union plume to revive thank you Alright, so heal. Alright, that's a couple crystals. No! They didn't go to a fucking caster! Come on, man! Ah! Uh, Fuck me, dude. I don't want magic crystals. I need charge crystals. The only like limit break ability, because I can't can't change her equipment while she needs charge. So she should be good. I'm just gonna have to eat a round of not casting. Equip her with... Um... Element Scepter, or... Yeah, Element Scepter. Um, let's use some Elixirs, because they are cheaper than Union Plumes. So why not? We'll spend this round making sure our characters stay alive.
All right. Time to fuck these dudes up. Number of hits up a little bit. You have reaped what you have sown. And then we are going to unleash the great magic. And that should hopefully finish off the other one. And we will be good to go. Now die. Very resistant to cold damage, I see. I see. <clears throat> so that's useless. Gotcha. Well, fuck. Charge crystals. Please don't die. I think I can heal. I think they might just be straight up resistant to magic. Usually it's physical is what our harder enemies are resistant to. Oh, come on! That would have given her the ability to act already. Oh, such a frustrating bug. Shit. Come on. There we go. All right, they are both very low. I'm going to end turn. she had sap guard for some reason. All right, never mind. <laughs> Just fucking backhand that one. All right. Fuck that boss. We survived. We survived. You Cost us some um, Phoenix Downs. Oh my god, this. What items did they drop? Dampen magic. Interesting. Ooh. 
Manual of Resurrection. Ooh, I feel like some of our characters would be interested in that, considering they're day in. Holy Sword Seraphi. That's kind of a silly nickname for a sword, I think. Spear Basilisk. Ooh. I don't think Odin deserves this spear. Alright. We need to... And we'll do it when we get to the world map. We'll do a round of uh, re-equips. We just gotta, just gotta get out of here. I think the trick in the speed run to get out fast is to unequip dimensional slip. Uh, remove everyone from the party, get into combat with just the Valkyrie, lose, and immediately get kicked out. Wait, I think we can just fall down a flush pit. We go here. Just take us to the beginning of the tower. Yeah. Damn it, didn't land right. I believe if you time it right, like, as soon as you hit the ground, you can slide and you won't lose a little bit of time, uh, just, like, crouching. Alright, so Yume, let's get you back onto the Dragon Bane. Um, Ayla. Check out Basilisk. Only has two attacks, though. We're gonna keep Heart Piercer. Um, Holy Sword Seraphi. 10% chance of doubling the amount of magic gems. Interesting. It has bonus holy damage, but. It only has attacks one and three, so... No thanks, I'm good. Um, if you don't know Valkyrie Profile, it is a PlayStation 1 JRPG. And I'm not surprised you didn't hear about it. It did not... have a lot of discs made. I think it's only like a hundred thousand, uh, English ones. Um... Hmm... You know what? We actually can go- we have time. We might as well as go to Bronze Castle. Uh, we're not gonna go all the way to the end. This is a bit of a special dungeon. Because it's on a timer. Um, and we actually do need it for my plans. However... As long as we don't go all the way to the boss... Then we are good. So I can go around, fight enemies, get items. Uh, when that timer runs out, it's going to disappear. Oh, this looks like it might be tough. I think all these enemies are going to be very low level, though. Yeah, we kind of we kind of out leveled all these guys. Maybe. That attack didn't do a lot of damage, but I don't think Arngrim has a very strong weapon right now. Yeah, like a thousand XP now. Nah. Uh, let's put the dimension slip on and just loot this castle. Is the dimension slip puts us out of phase with reality. I see that treasure chest. Hold on, how do I... Unicorn Horn? Ooh. 
Can I transmute that? That sounds... That vaguely seems familiar. Unicorn horn, unicorn horn, where is that unicorn horn? Unicorn horn! Is it an artifact? No. Am I crazy? There it is. Um, oh, I took off the creation gem. Huh. Maybe we need tier 3 crafting to do anything with it. I feel like it turns into a mage's staff that can use great magic without breaking. There's only a couple instances of that. This is a very generous uh, timed area. You know, timer doesn't run in battle, does it run during zone transition? It's kind of nice. I mean, unless you get lost, in which case, it's not so nice. It's neat so hoot. Beast Slayer. Perfect for any beasts. Like manticores. Or... Uh... Harpies? Maybe? Let's we'll just go down. Down, 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 down. That's a weird save point. Alright. Let's go all left, baby. What's behind door number one? We got a heal! Actually, might be useful. I don't know how many extra heals we have. I think we only have one invoke feather. I think we have two heals. Which is good, because I think we're going to be sending up some casters next time. Or in next chapter. Vegetal seed. Ah, yes, we found throw. Be hup, hiya, and then I kick him, sir. That is a good enemy to fight. Hold on. Let's take off that dimension slit for a second. We uh, fight this demon warrior. To my side, my noble Ooh, it's an upgraded one? A ram guardian. Nice, nice, and we froze it. Good shit. All right, we're gonna let it be frozen and give us some free recovery turns. And we're gonna fuck it up once again. Give me your delicious magic crystals, baby. Oh, fuck! All right, uh, this Ram Guardian does not fuck around. He can and will end all of your shit. All right, let's, uh, let's, let's, uh, let's not fuck around and we'll just finish this guy off, methinks. 
Let me just uh, turn into a motherfucking dragon, as one does. Using all of our dragon's best abilities, uh... Optic Blast! <laughs> you have reaped what you have sowed. Our work is done. Nice. XP was okay? Uh, wasn't expecting you get fucking schwacked though, like, god damn. Uh, let's put that dimension slip back on. Yikes. I don't know what Defend Trust does. I think Trust influences the consistency. Because damage isn't hard numbers in this game. There's wiggle room. And I think weapons with low attack trust have a higher variance in their damage compared to ones with high trust. I just don't know if trust is on like a 1 to 100 scale or if it's something different. Game's a little bit cheeky. Hiding items behind the foreground. I see ya. I see what you're trying to do there, game. You can't fool me. I'm the Valkyrie Lineth. Alright. I'll fuck you up. Alright, I believe that's the boss room. We do not want to go there. Because we need to go there later. Let's see. Let us see. Oh, Valkyrie. What doors remain closed? And what doors have you opened? Valkyrie. Valkyrie. Don't you see? Valkyrie. Valkyrie. I think this is between you and me you wield the blade but will you strike me down you hold it at my throat but stare at the ground valkyrie oh valkyrie what does a life mean to you, reaper of death, acre of souls, those you hold in your hand? Alright, pretty much explored all of that. So, when our, next time we can just go straight to the boss. Good shit. And save. Um, I. Hmm, well, let's. Hold on. Let's check. Blockwork Mansion. We have a Cave of Oblivion. Alright. Get that cleared out. Just for consistency's sake. So they catacombs. Second cave of oblivion. A second cave of oblivion has struck Midgard. Salerno Academy, Tower of Lazard, Cave of Thacus. Alright, so let's clear out these Caves of Oblivion real quick. They are kind of a special RNG dungeon. They can have enemies 
from any, they can have any kind of enemy, from the beginning of the game to end game enemies. And they can also just have really shit items and really good items. It's just hugely RNG. Usually it's a l oh oh that's right we have the let's take the dimensional ring off What kind of enemies did we roll in this game? And upgraded dragon zombie I think Cool. We're just gonna put a Dragon Slayer on. And top off our health. We gotta get rid of this zombie dragon. Ooh, there we go. Perfect. Now it won't attack us. Good shit, the dragon sword did not break. They would Love that, that for us. Now 7,000 XP, not bad, not bad. Well, it might be better that we just run through TBH. I don't think we need to really take all these fights. I think we can just go for the loot. You know, get ourselves some shiny. Assuming we can find any. This cave seems to have quite the dearth. Wait, that's an enemy standing still. Hold on. Don't usually see that. I gotta... I gotta see if this is a special enemy. Or if I'm just crazy and it's like stuck on some geometry. To my side, my noble Einherion. No, it's just a dragon tooth warrior. And a single one at that. Alright. Kind of a no big deal. Take that! Take that! Yeah! Their souls have been released. We have no reason to remain here. All right, this was kind of a bust, but okay. You know what? That's why it's called the random or the cave of oblivion. Is you're oblivious to what the fuck is inside it. Doesn't look like we can climb. Well, hold on. No, I don't see anything. Climbing up. There are only a few predetermined possible layouts of the cave. You can usually figure it out in the first couple rooms, excuse me. Mostly wanting to do the caves just to clear it off our map. Have a nice, clean kind of thing. Not Bronze Castle. Clockwork Mansion. There it is. Yeah, one cave appears per chapter. 
So you could save them all up and do them all at once at the very end if you really were so inclined. Ooh, a broken blade. We got we got a pretty broken armory going on. Uh, I wonder if we can just like mash everything to, everything together or make some kind of uh, uh, fragment golem. The broken golem. Fuse from all the broken shit. I miss the door up there. You know what? It's not worth it. We're just gonna fucking fuck it all. Technically, there is a chance of some very, very good items, but, like, I'm not gonna sweat it. We wanna make our end of chapter backup save, just in case I have fucked everything up. But according to my last calculations, we are just fine. We are going to go to the end of this chapter. Let's learn how good of a job we are doing. It has been a long time, Leneth. Our current situation is as follows. Eh, yeah, war, the war doesn't, doesn't mean anything. Our current situation is, our forces are routing the enemy. If yep. things continue, uh -huh. do All you is wish well. to know the status of our unheralded? All right, let's check our most recent persons. I think we sent up. Uh, was it Nanami in June? You wish to know her status? Yeah. All right. All right. Conversations. All right. Exploits recognized. Should be okay. Do you wish to know the status of our unharried? Check out what June is doing. 14th level god. All right. Uh, looks like they pissed off ear though. So that's a that's a, not a good not a good first impression. It seems like. Lenith, about your it is magnificent. Yep, yep. Of course, it's magnificent. We've been setting up two characters that fulfill pretty much all of the attributes. These are all the materialized points I can grant you at this time. Hell yeah! That is a lot of the good Lord points. Let's see what he Odin's giving, giving us. Okay, Invoke Feather, very good. Resist damage, Mystic Cross. Another Bracelet of Zoe, another Coin of Fortune. All right. Concentration. Lenith, Interesting. I have a request to make of you. We have many powerful warriors. Hey, swim! We need one okay. Who can move swiftly. Send us an Einherjar who is both swift and nimble. Send us an Einherjar. We need someone who can issue okay. battle command. We need so this swordsmen. is... Well, technically, someone can fulfill all of these, but they have to be a melee character because magic characters only get magic pow. Melee characters will will get only attack pow. May fate guide your hand. I expect good news. So, right, and this is the midway point. So. Give me a minute, I am going to swap the disc.